Today on Unpowered, have you ever wanted to stream to more than one service, like to Facebook or YouTube? But you've looked at the price of the restreaming services and they're just out of your reach? Well, I have a solution for you. Right. We're going to set up a multi-streaming server. You're going to think, that's too difficult. Well, I've done the hard work for you. I've created a virtual machine. A virtual machine is a server that can run inside your existing operating server. No matter what you, whether you're running Linux, Windows, or Macs, it will work fine for you. What you need is a program called VirtualBox. It's an open source solution um, sponsored by Oracle. And you download your relevant file, either Windows, OS, or Linux accordingly. I've created a virtual machine that's based on the Debian operating system. It creates a server which you can push your stream to that server and then it will automatically push it to the servers you set up. So what do we need to do? Let's set it up. Okay, so what we need here, I've got a little setup file I'll include it in the link below. And this is what you do. So first of all, you've downloaded your virtual machine. Now you need to get the appliance. And I've put it in my Dropbox account here. So we open it here, we copy that URL, and we're gonna download that file. So paste and go, here we go. So we download it. Okay, can't scan for viruses because it's too large, so we're gonna download it anyway. And we're gonna open it with Oracle Virtual Machine VirtualBox. I'm running Linux, so your pop-up is gonna be a little bit different but you download it and run it and open it. So here we go. So we're gonna do OK. And it's gonna automatically import the virtual machine. You can just use the default settings. We can see it's called my RTMP server. I'm allocating at four, me megs of RAM, four gigs of RAM, and I'm allocating two CPU cores. Okay, so there we go. So I'll click import. Now it's importing the appliance so you can run the server in your computer. Okay, there we go. We've now got the virtual machine set up. It's now in a powered off state. So before you start, every time you want to stream, you need to power it on. And you power it on by opening up VirtualBox and clicking the Start button here. Then you'll get this pop-up window and it will start running the computer like you're turning on the computer for the first time. Let that boot up. But before we do that, what we need to do before we go into our next part of the setup, we can close these out now, we can, we need to find out what the IP address is. Now you can go to your router and find that out, or you can use this window here to help you. So here we're going to log on and the, the default usernames and passwords are RTMP is for the user. Root has the same password as the user at the moment. Okay, so we're going to log on. R, oh, let me click on the window. RTMP and put in the password. Right, so now we can see we're logged in. We can see RTMP at RTMP. Perfect. Now we're going to write a command called IP space A. This will list the current IP addresses assigned to the network devices. And we see here we've got a new we've got here on the second one it says ENP OS3, I know that's a confusing little name, but you see the last one down there, and it says one, the first one says loopback, right, LO, we don't want that one, we want the network card, which is the second device, 192.168.2.7. Your computer will be a little bit different, but let's, let's see if we've got this right. We're going to jot it down here. We've got dot six, but it's not right, we need to have dot seven. So 192.168.2.7. Now, you could do everything through this window. 
There's nothing wrong with you doing. But at the moment, I haven't enabled copying and pasting. And it's going to be a lot easier, especially when it comes to your keys, rather than typing them out by hand, to copy and paste them. So I recommend a program called SSH. Um, Linux has it by default, and I'm pretty sure Mac does too. Um, but either way, either way, you can download a program called Putty, and Putty is a shell connection, and you can use that to connect to this virtual machine through a shell, through a shell command. And then you can use your nice little things like copying and pasting to make this a lot, lot simpler. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open a terminal. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize this. We don't need these anymore. And I've got my terminal here, and I'm going to use a command called SSH, and I'll use my username, RTMP, at that IP address, 192.168.2.7. I will then now connect to the server. Th this may come up. Um, SSH has a security thing. To, has Each server has its own key. So to make sure you're not going into the wrong place. So you just say yes to add it to that you trust this computer. And you're going to type in the password, which is the same password to log on on the other place as well. So here we go. There we are. Now what we need to do is we want to configure the server. And we want to run, oh, where is the file? We want to run, oh, God, went too far, didn't I? Here we go. We're going to log on to SSH we've done, and we're going to update. Hang on. We're going to use a command called nano. Okay, nano rtmp servers.com. Okay, this is just located in the same directory when you log in. So if I go list, you'll see the file there. Okay, so we're going to copy that file to make it easy for us. Well, we can do it this. Yeah, no, I'll do it this way. This is the easiest for you guys. So we're going to copy, and we're going to paste, and we're going to enter, and it should look like this. If you don't see this, you've not opened the correct file. So now we're going to. Then we need to input. You put your Facebook key and your YouTube key here. So I'm going to do that quickly now. So now we've got these two windows open you're probably quite familiar with using Facebook now these keys I'm gonna reset afterwards so don't try to copy them <laughs> I'll probably I'll blur them out anyway so but anyway you, you know on your live page you click copy for Facebook and you paste it in here then you go to YouTube and you copy the key and you paste it on the next line like that Okay, then you go Control X to exit out of it. You want to save the changes, so you select Y, accept the existing file that comes up there, and press Enter. The configuration file has now been updated. But we need to do one more thing. We need to switch user, type in the root user password, and, ru and run. Oh, I obviously did that wrong. ET3363. There we go. And we want to update RTMP. Oh! RTMP <laughs> update. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay, we can see here in this file we've got uh, two push commands. We're pushing this one here. I've set up a special server. Facebook needs a special requirement. It needs RT, RTMPS. This server doesn't do it by default. I use another program called S-Tunnel in there. It's a little bit complicated, but this program handles it, so it pushes it to a local port, and then that forwards it to the correct place. And this pushes it to the correct place here. So there we go. Look at here, restarting servers, finished. There is no errors, so we're good to go. So now what we need to do is we need to configure OBS. So, we can minimize that. Okay, we've got our two windows there. Let's open another window for OBS so we don't get ourselves a little bit confused. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's do a full screen. Now we'll do full background. We'll just do, the, we'll do that. Yep, nice. Okay, so we're gonna go to the settings. And we need to go to the stream. 
we need to go to custom. So we've got a big list here and we've got custom at the top. So you custom. You remember the IP address that we saw before? Is this right? No. We need to change that to seven. Okay. Now I've done this before already, but the default session is actually called live. The stream key can be just anything you like. Okay. So we apply it, we go OK, and then we can start streaming. And if all goes to plan, green, and we've got our connection. So let's check our stream. So let's move this name, maybe that's nice and small. Oh, look, we've got something coming through. Excellent connection here. Let's look up here. Oh, let's just play that. Excellent connection there. Let's just, so we've got something coming through. Oh, looks like we're ready to go. It says we're ready to go. Let's have a look. There's an excellent connection, but we're still not seeing anything. There we are. So let's try a transition. So we can see it coming through. You can see my transition going there. This is on the preview. And we should see that coming up on here very shortly. Yeah, a little bit while. There is a delay, about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and each channel will be played a little bit delayed from each other. But remember, this is, there we go. You can see it coming through. We are definitely live. Okay, now you noticed that the key is very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we'll stop the streaming now. Okay. And we're going to update our file. So we're going to exit out of this. Oh, I'm going to switch user, we're going to go back into this, ET3363 hash, and we're going to edit the RTMP comp file, so we write nano, etc, nginx, rtmp.conf, okay, with that file, we can change see it says application here and it says live that's what that's the URL that you're using but we can change this to any this is my super secure key okay so then I can copy that because we're going to need to use that as part of our URL so we're going to copy that that there this can be anything you like Make sure you get all of it. So we copy, and then we're going to exit out of this. Control X, save changes Y, and we're going to update RTMP update to update our configuration. Server's already started, so we're all good to go. Now back to OBS. We are going to go back to our settings because if we try to do it now, cannot access the specified stream key. So we try try it again. No, we can't connect, okay, because our settings are wrong. So let's change this last part to this. This is my super secure key. Okay, we apply. Okay. And then we can start streaming. So we can transition. Okay, we should see a connection coming through very shortly. Play. It looks like that's coming through. We'll refresh this page so we can see this one. Okay, you can see it's coming through there. We're refreshing the page there. Excellent connection. Okay, let's transition back to a black screen so we can see it working. Can you see the little thing going over there? And very shortly, we should see it coming up over here and here. Here we go. And. Doo -doo 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 -doo. A little bit delayed this time. There we go. There we go. So you can see both Facebook and YouTube are receiving the same stream.
So as you can see, we've successfully set it up a server. You can download that file, you can use it as much as you like, um, not a problem. If you've got any questions, please don't his please his don't hesitate. Please, please ask. You don't you know, I'm open. I'll help you as much as I can to get you this working. Until next time, hey, and if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, be empowered.